So we've gained some more street parking back now that the snow is melting a little bit. <laughs> Merry Christmas. How many of you live in an area where they're starting to do these purple lights? I first seen this on the mainland over there just outside of Vancouver. These purple street lights are awesome. I don't know what the point of them are, but they are so cool. Right? Look at that. <laughs> it's so awesome. But they only find them in like little pocketed areas. So I'm wondering if they're like doing them as an experiment or I don't know. I think that I think every one of them should be that purple. Vancouver, that way. We're catching the ferry out this morning. I made a reservation just to make sure that we made the first one. It's been a little while since we've done a good old van life vlog. You know, head to the city, sleep on the side of the streets, do some stealth camping if you wish. I'm gonna take you guys back to some of the places that I used to camp when I first started living in my van. Crazy. I just wanna say bye, buddy. <laughs> hey, what's going on? And of course I come over here and he turns around. What's going on, buddy? Is it you leaving me? I have to, bro. <laughs> Last time I was on the boat, I had my big boot on. My foot feels really good. I always like to take advantage of the dark mornings on the boat when there's no view outside to get a video edited for you. And as the sun comes up, we arrive in Vancouver and it was awesome to see a typical West Coast winter day. Windy, rainy, wet, and zero snow. We are just about in Vancouver and the weather looks pretty stormy out there. Hey, crazy. <laughs> You're gonna have to move, buddy. Uh, uh, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Taking the ferry over to the mainland today with the cost of my reservation fee was about $95 and change. So my van's usually 80 some odd dollars to come over normally, but I paid extra to reserve a spot on this ferry, but take a look around. I clearly didn't need to. There was nobody on this boat this morning, but some mornings it's incredibly unpredictable. You could show up at the terminal and you'll have to wait another whole sailing just to get on. So when I got timelines and things to do, sometimes paying for the reservation just kind of makes sense so you can get to your places on time. So we're heading right into downtown to check my mail as we always do. Right now we're going over the Lionsgate Bridge right into the big, beautiful, wet city of Vancouver, BC. We're back in the big city, baby. I, uh, I got some packages to pick up for this morning. Going to Cobb's Breads right now. As Soon as I pull in here, you ever have those frequent spots where you just kind of pull in and then there's just the usual things you buy when you're in those areas. Like when I come here, my mailbox is right over there, right across the streets, the Cobb's Breads, and I go over there and get myself a lemon, lemon blueberry scone and a cinnamon scone. I think today maybe we will, maybe they got a gingerbread one. It's Christmas, you know? But I kind of miss being back here in the city. Like I get here, I get excited about being in Vancouver. And then as soon as I grab my packages, I get excited to get the heck out. <laughs> this is the place where my van life started. Vancouver, that's why my channel is called Van City Van Life, because it started right here in Van City. Ooh. Oh, they have gingerbread scones. They have gingerbread scone, eggnog scone, fruit mince tart, butter tarts. Oh yeah, let's go. Hello. I will get one butter tart, one cinnamon scone, and a lemon blueberry. 
So we have a sample of the juice. I'll try one of those for sure. Thank you. For next time, you're gonna grab that. Bye, take care. See you again. <laughs> What's with the half naked boys on the dental side? What kind of dental clinic is that? This little baby butter tart. Um, I think some places they call these things like sweet cakes or sugar pies or something. I don't know. This little bugger. This little baby thing. That little bugger was $2.75. This better be pure heaven. Oh, damn. Okay. Cobb's breads ain't messing around, man. That's a that's a pretty darn good butter tart. This is one gaining all that weight back. There's too many delicious things in this world. Oh, lemon blueberry scone. Let's go. Doing these little time lapses are pretty cool and it turned out really well. We should do this sometime and drive all over the city so we can see it just real quick. It's fun, man. I, I'm just shocked on how good it actually turned out. But uh, normally when I'm in the city, I like to stop, check out some of my favorite local graffiti spots. But today, we just didn't have the time. I got to go see my daughter. We got breakfast, lunch, a little Christmas shopping, and I'm super stoked to go see her. Anyway, guys, we're just bouncing to the suburbs just outside the city. <laughs> I want to stay a little warmer, but I'm not sure if this is going to cut it. It's nice though. Maybe should I should just buy like a thin blanket. We got some packages when I was at my mailbox. This one's from G. Clements. Oh, no way. Oh, that is so cool. G. Clements, thank you. This is awesome. Surprised it made it from the States all the way here without uh, getting bent. <laughs> that was really cool. Thank you, man. And I have another package here. This one looks like it's got, who's this one from? Christopher Landon. Who's this, buddy? Uh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Take it. Ah, 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 ah. Really? Come on. I need that receipt. Fuel, $123. We'll pump we up. Pump eight. Okay, we got one more thing in here from Christopher Landon. Uh, awesome. I got a Washington plate for the wall. Sweet, thanks Christopher. Yeah, Chris is taking his toy into the bed. Hey buddy. What you got back there, bro? Ah, uh, he likes it. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Where are we at, Casey? Hey, where are we at? Maybe it's the highlight of his day. He's freaking out. Can you imagine being that pumped for something? Hey? <laughs> Who's that, Cruz? I like your vest, that's pretty awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Cruz, are you gonna stop twerking any minute now? Happy to you, ma'am. Thank you. What are you getting? What I always get. Uh, the traditional burger with absolutely nothing on it. <laughs> There's purple lights, man. I love these things. <laughs> All street lights need to be this purple. That's wild.
Beautiful view of the city skyline of Vancouver from over here. Oh, that's pretty over there. We used to van life down in this area. Now you're not allowed to. There's a lot of huge development and stuff going on. Obviously, they're building some big towers here. And then we used to camp out down here all the time. Wow. A lot of stuff going on down here. Yeah, right there. Oh, it's a bike lane now. We used to sleep right there quite a bit on this side. Yeah, they put four hour parking all over down here. But this is gonna be some great places for developments because the view of the city skyline is breathtaking. Yeah, that's pretty. What happens with a lot of these areas that we used to build a van life in is the van lifers come, would come and they would stay all day, all day, and wreck parking for the local businesses and stuff. That's why I come, I use it for a night's sleep, and I'm gone first thing in the morning. That way, I'm not intruding any business space or any parking space people need to go to work or anything like that. Um, people can go back to normal without seeing me out there living on the side of the road during the day. So usually if I, like I've slept right here many times. So when I sleep there, I get up in the morning and I leave and then, you know, people don't see me again for maybe another week or so. But that's the key guys, you always gotta keep moving. So tonight, I think we're gonna sleep in another place where a lot of the van lifers frequent. I haven't been there in uh, quite a while. Last time I was there was when Jeffy Bear was still out here. And we'll probably end up sleeping right here tonight, but we're gonna go for a drive up the street here and, and kind of see how many van dwellers there are. There's one here. Sometimes this street up here behind Walmart can be pretty bad. There were times a few years back where it was just packed full packed full of people that were not moving like you like most of those vehicles were you know tarped over and never driven oh well, looks not too bad one two three four five maybe six seven truck camper eight nine <laughs> not bad usually these streets back here years ago we're back to back, both sides, all the way down. These businesses had no places to park. <laughs> there was a lot of them. We'll pull up in front of this guy. Oh. Yeah, lots of room. Yeah, I've slept in this spot many times. Jeffy Bear used to park over there anytime he was in the city. You always knew where to find Jeffy Bear. <laughs> I miss you, brother. All right. Looks good.
Hey, buddy. Typical trip to Vancouver, huh? Just stuff everywhere. We got parts and stuff here. It's not so bad, though. Usually it's just piled full of boxes. Today we just got parts and a couple of boxes. Good night, Vancouver. You're going to come? Are you going to come? <laughs> are you coming? Hey, are you coming? Oh, my foot hurts a little bit. Oh. I, uh, I hope I don't have to put this thing back on again. <laughs> I hurt my foot today a little. Um, when I went out with my daughter, we went to the mall and we walked around a fair amount. And sometimes we're walking around corners and as I would put, plant my foot, I would pivot it a bit and it hurts right here on the top a little. I think I pushed it a bit too far today. Dear boot, I hope I never have to wear you again. Please, I, I gotta be a little bit more careful. I'm dying to look in this box. So at the Overland North Gathering in Ontario that we went to, I met a guy, a subscriber of ours, has a company called J.A. Shank Co. He had this fire pit cooking stand for cast iron, and I was like, yo, I want this. Oh, how cool is that? First fire on us. <laughs> that is so cool. So we'll get into this when we get to the shop. I just want to take a peek. Oh, he gave me the bag too. Oh, that is awesome. So it's an adjustable um, thing for your cast iron pan. So your cast iron pan sits in there. This goes over the fire. It's got a base on it so you can adjust the height of it. So you can adjust the temperature of, of, the, um, of your cast iron pan. And it's awesome. It's got the grill and stuff in here too. So you just got an extra grill. Hoping to start doing a little bit more stuff over the campfire. But this is cool, you guys. So that's the name of the company. J.A. Shanko. A Shank company, I guess. Shanko. Yeah, we'll dive into that when we get back to the shop. This is really, really cool. And while I was over there on the mainland, I went to see Lauren because he has some parts for the ambulance. So that's what all this stuff is. Uh, a couple of intakes that need to be painted. Uh, he had just had some parts there that uh, were replacements for what I had. And when I put up my Ambo video of me painting the engine, he's like, bro, I got some more parts for you. So I went and picked those up. Uh, this is a new power steering pump because that last one was covered in oil and he, he had a... Um, he had a new one at his place, so we got a new one there for it, which is kind of cool. My foot has been so good these days. Sometimes when I walk, I forget it's hurt. And that is dangerous. That makes me want to feel like putting back on the boot, but I think a little bit of exercise, even if I push it a tiny bit too, it's, it's fine. I can walk around on it today. But I think maybe doing this kind of stuff will be good for it in the end, as long as I can be careful with my limits on it and not push it too far. So right now it feels a little bit of discomfort in the top. So if we feel good in the morning, I will chalk up today as darn good exercise. But me and my daughter had fun today. We went to the mall and um, I didn't bring my camera in with me, but I literally said, hey, let's make Chris Christmas shopping easy on dad. You pick, I tap it, we go. She's like, okay, the kid is so so money conscious it's amazing and I, I absolutely love that about her because she really wanted a set of boots so she was looking at doc martens and things like that and she was just like, I'm like if you want the pair just get it she grabs this boot she looked at it she's like i'm not letting you spend 300 dollars on a boot it's it's a boot and it's it made, it made me proud that that uh at 16 years old that she has a really good understanding of money anyway guys thanks for riding along here today um we are catching the very first boat back to the island tomorrow and um hopefully this rain knocked out some of that snow and we can get out there and light ourselves a campfire and attempt to cook something uh on the cast iron over the fire using this brand new uh ja shanko i don't even know what it's called fire ring fire pit thing um yeah <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We out. Peace out. Cruzy, you want to come up here? He's sleeping in the front, like for real. Seriously, bro? <laughs> the sound of rain 
on the top of the van is a mighty beautiful thing. What am I supposed to do to survive in these gold on roads?